hey guys uh, welcome to next video and uh, in this video i am going to show you how we can generate a pdf using omniscript uh, and the uh, transform data raptor okay so let's get started on this <clears throat> okay so to create a or to generate a PDF using the OmniScript, you basically need three steps. The first step is you need to create a PDF which uh, basically has all the static data and uh, uh, the some merge fields which can be merged, uh, you know, from the OmniScript, right? Uh, then we need an OmniScript <coughs> which either use can which either can use a uh, you know data raptor to query some data to populate the PDF or it might have some input elements where we can collect all the information and then we can pass it to the PDF. And the third thing and which is the most important thing uh, we need is the transform data raptor. <coughs> uh, Omniscript will be calling the transform data raptor and uh, this transform data raptor basically will be doing the actual mapping. Uh, between the omniscript data and the PDF uh, merge fields. Okay, so uh, let's see it one by one how we can do it. Okay. So the first step, as I told you, is uh, we need a PDF which uh, will be having the static text, static text, and uh, the merge fields, right? So to create that, uh, uh, you know, to create that PDF, you might need any pro version of Acrobat Reader or uh, Adobe Reader or something, whatever you prefer, right? Whatever you do have. Uh, I do have Adobe Acrobat, so I will be using it. Right? So, uh, first thing, let's go to this Acrobat Reader and click on this See All Tools. So, basically, <clears throat> we are going to create a or we are going to prepare a form here. So, that's where you might need the pro version because I'm not. Uh, sure that all the you know free versions support this prepare form feature or not okay so <clears throat> let's click on this prepare form for now and uh, you do have option either you can create it from a file or you can create a new so i find it very difficult to write some static text in pdf so instead of that what i will do is i will create a word document i will write everything there and then i will create a form using that word document okay so let's uh, let's say in the pdf we it should be a it, it will be a very simple pdf so let's say we want uh, uh, my first name is something then my maybe last name is something uh, then we might have is then we might have date of birth okay so just ignore the formattings for now uh, i can save this word document as uh, you know uh, let's say pdf doc and i will save it on the desktop then uh, i will use this document to generate the pdf okay so i will select a file and it will be the pdf doc which i just created and I will start with this. <clears throat> so you can see that static text is populated automatically, right? Now, what we need to do is we need to drop the form elements here, which will be used as the merge fields. Okay. So uh, I mean, again, I'm not a expert in uh, Acrobat or uh, any other PDF, you know, PDF generator. I'm just uh, <laughs> I did some experiment, and this is the way I found out which really worked for me. So I right clicked here and I'm using a text field. <clears throat> so let's say I want this text field and uh, I can make it a little small. And this text field will basically, oops, it. okay. So I just want it, uh, you know, let's say it will be having my first name. So it will be F name. And I just want it read only. I do not want it editable on that, you know, final PDF that is done then I can you know maybe copy paste this Oops, it does not work okay so I will have another text field for the last name ok 
okay and uh, this will be let's say element and it will also be read only field then for that is i might have Oops, date field okay let's use this date field here and uh, let's call it uh, maybe dov oops my bad it should go under or it should go against the dov not the is so it will go here and then maybe for the is we can have a let's again have a text field here And I will call it uh, that's a simple is okay. That's it. Save it and uh, let's save this PDF document. And uh, I will okay. I will save it on desktop and let's call it uh, sample OS PDF and save it. Okay. Now next step is you need to create a Omniscript, uh, which will collect all this information, you know, from the end user, which can be populated in the PDF, right? So I will go to Omniscript and uh, I will click on New Omniscript. Let's call it uh, Sample PDF Omniscript. Okay, and it is a type PDF and uh, we create PDF. <coughs> okay. Now uh, we do have the step. Inside the step, let's have text field, which will be having. Okay. So this will be having, let's say, first name, and uh, enter your first name. Then we need one more text field, which is for last name, and it will be, let's say, enter your last name then we need a uh, maybe you know one more text field for is is and enter your is and the last thing we need is uh, one date field right and this will be for dob enter your dob Okay. So let's quickly preview this. <coughs> okay, looks good. Uh, now we do have uh, the PDF, we do have the Omni script, right? So the next thing we need to do is we need to combine them and we need to do the mapping, right? So whatever they need, whatever the user is typing in these fields, those should be going to the PDF, right? So for that, what you need to do is first you need to upload the document the pdf document which you uh, which you created here into the documents of salesforce okay so uh, what you can do is maybe you can go to the classic classic version of salesforce then search for uh, documents tab <coughs> and uh, create a new document okay so let's call it uh, my personal info right and uh, upload the document for example pdf simple os pdf and save it <clears throat> okay now you have uploaded the document to salesforce the last step which left is you know uh, the mapping between this omni script and uh, you know these merge fields right so for that you basically need a you know you basically need a transform that uh, data adapter okay so go to data adapters click on new data adapter and here let's call it uh, uh, personal info mapper maybe okay 
the interface uh, type should be the transform here right the input is json that is correct because omniscript will be you know passing the json as an input here and the output type should be the pdf because we want to generate a pdf here right now you need to select the target output pdf right so this is nothing but the document which we just uploaded here so once you click on uh, uh, this field it will automatically show you the pdf uh, you know which are available under your documents so as we uploaded this already right it will display you this name you can select it and click on save okay. now you need to map the fields right so click on the transform tab here and uh, add the new mapping okay here this input json path basically tells you what is the path of this data in your own script and this pdf output field tells you what is the real you know merge field uh, for this uh, you know in the pdf document okay so uh, you know let's do one thing quickly go back to your uh, own script preview it and add some data let's add some data here okay. and uh, i'm i'm just adding this data to get uh, this json right so it's easy to use uh, this this json just copy this and uh, go back to your uh, you know your mapper and uh, inside the input json just paste it now i mean once you do it basically it will uh, you know uh, it will auto populate these fields so you do not need to type it type it that's it i mean you, this field, uh, this step is totally optional if you do not to want to do it that's uh, that's fine you can simply write step one uh, you know and colon and the first name here right and then in the pdf output we need to map okay so when one thing you can see here is right so whatever the fields name we gave here right so for example this was f name it starts automatic you know automatically populating populating here right so f name is here l name is here age is here and uh, i think we forgot to change the name for dov so it's it's also here right so we want to map first name against the first name then <clears throat> create one more mapping uh, and here we want to map the last name against the l name right then create one more this is for ace and uh, the last one is for the uh, dov okay that's it uh, now we have done everything we have created our uh, pdf document we have created the omni script we have created this data uh, this data raptor right okay uh, the last thing we need to do now is uh, you know we have to call uh, we have to call the data raptor the transform data raptor here into the omni script right so for that uh, go back to the omni script then uh, you know do uh, we need to drop this pdf action here after this step and uh, you know we need to tell the document name which we uploaded and in the documents and then if you want i mean you do have some more attributes but uh, those are optional if you want to specify that's fine otherwise you know uh, the important step is click on this send transformations and here you need to select the pre transform data raptor interface this is nothing but the data raptor or the you know the transform data raptor which we created so we created this personal info mapper do this and that's it we are done so let's go and preview this so let's do here my age is let's say 23 and let's say my date of birth is so click on next button now you can see uh, you know the pdf is generated this is exactly the pdf which we created uh, somehow this uh, field is little bit cut off but uh, i think that's fine right and uh, we can see the date of birth also right so uh, that's very simple right uh, right now i'm using this step to collect the data but uh, you might not want this maybe your use case is something different uh, maybe you can uh, create a data raptor uh, which queries uh, you know 
which query the let's say account or let's say which query the contact and uh, you know you you might use the you know extract action here and uh, then you can map the uh, json from this data raptor to the you know to the pdf right so it the mapping all depends on your uh, on your uh, scenarios or the use cases that you are trying to achieve right so i think this was uh, straightforward and this is very simple so if you have any questions please let me know thank you